Okay, to the top, top of the fortress, huh? Can do. But as I was saying, the big problem I ran into was simply that some of the... Come on! Was simply that some of these touchscreen controls... Well, specifically, there's one... I never got good at the touchscreen controls, but the main problem I had was this. It was in the fights with Bowser. You see, because you, you had to toss Bowser... Of course, the famous... Uh, famous end of those battles with Bowser is Mario... Uh oh Well, right, this is fine, because we can just do that. Come on, there. Oh, come on. I just have to wait for that wall to, or for the roof to detract. There we go. How did Mar How does Mario do that anyway? Does he like catch his feet in the bricks? Go. Wait, what am I trying to do? Trying to get on top of the of, of it for? I mean, I know there's a red coin up there. I think there's a red coin on top of some swamp at least. But uh, actually. Is it that one on the bottom? No, nope, doesn't look like it. So, I don't really remember a lot of the stars super well. So I don't know entirely what I, for sure, you know, what I need to do, for example, to get to, uh, this star here. I mean, is it just at the top? If so, I have to say, that strikes me as a pretty... Mario, get, get away from it! I always hated Thwomp's Fortress. Thwomp's Fortress was never the stage I liked. I like Jolly Roger Bay, though. Anyway, so as I was saying... As I was saying, having to... You see, of course, in the original one... Well, I'm not entirely sure what you have to do to throw Bowser into the uh, bombs in the original one. But in this one... What's that down there? Anyway, well, well, that hole down there is a bill blaster. But in this one, what you have to do is you have to spin him around and release him, like, on the touch screen. And because of that, I was never able to finish it because I just couldn't do that. It was so, like, I, I could never be sure when exactly it was going to stop. And, like, if I had a third hand, I might be able to pull it off because then I would be able to, say, have one hand on the, on the movement pad, one hand on... The buttons that let Mario run and jump and stuff. And then I could have another... Another hand handling the... Handling the uh, whole, you know, everybody's... Hey, Womp, you're gonna... There you go. And have the other hand spinning Mario around and releasing him. I never managed to pull it off, though, so there are no guarantees I'm actually going to finish this. Nor are there any guarantees I'm going to get all 140 whatever stars that I had when my, uh... Uh-oh. Mar Mario. Yeah, he was okay. He didn't die. Because he has cartoon physics. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a Bill Blaster there. So now that old uh, King Womp is gone, I suppose they replaced him with a tower? Why has this tower been built here? Why did the Koopa Troop build this tower? I think these sort of changing environments are one of the um, major draws of Super Mario 64, even though it doesn't really make all that much sense. Like, real oh, no! In any case, I don't remember this being my least favorite level. My least favorite level is that, uh, what is it? I can, I can still picture, I don't remember what it's, no! Crap! Criminy! Ah! This would be so much easier if I didn't have to record it. Well, I guess I don't have to record it. This is entirely self-inflicted. Oh, well. I'm not in this to have fun. I hate fun. I know this guy in high school. Everybody said he hated fun. I used to think, why would anyone hate fun? Now I understand it, because fun is terrible. Why would anyone ever want to have fun? That's what I don't understand. Okay. No, no! But oh, you see, if the camera was turning with Mario, problem would be solved. I feel like 3D platformers never quite got over the whole camera difficulties issue. You see that? 
Well, we're gonna die here because of bullet bills. Because I can't climb the tower. You know, I know some people think this game is easy. I know some people are like, think all Mario is easy. I've always thought of Mario as being pretty difficult. Certainly not the easiest of things. All right, Mario, just jump, jump again. Okay, now we're not gonna move until we've changed the camera to a better dir All right, good job, Mario. Now just jump onto, onto this one. See, the difficult thing is less jumping and more making sure the camera is at the correct orientation. Anyway, we made it. So I wonder what how you get into this tower. Clearly there's a window. I suppose it's a watchtower. You know, if Bowser didn't want Mario getting that star, he probably should have guarded it, you know, many times better. I'd say guarding it at least three times better would be in line. Ah, well. Sometimes I think Bowser isn't the smartest. Cookie! I just say I hate this level, and then I... Oh, this star. I remember this as being, like, terrifying, because you have to just shoot into the wild blue, as they say. Now, if I remember, there's a... Yeah, there's an owl in this tree, isn't there? Owl, owl, owl. You see, why don't all Mario games have this kind of neat little secret thing in it, huh? No problem, Kaipora Gaybora. Or is it Kaipora Gaibora? I don't know. You know, I can avoid shooting into that wild blue yonder if I can just have him carry me over here, can't I? Um, Mario might have broken his legs, but he got another star. What I like about the stars is there's something so satisfying about getting more of them. That's one of the easy stars. Some stars are challenging, others are not so much. Oh! Well, okay, we won. It's over, game's over, we already won the game. We, we won, we beat it. We did it, because we're about to save the princess, right? Yep, that's what's gonna happen. I realized maybe I was a little too hard on Yoshi before. Yoshi is, after all, a hero, too. Now, anyway, hey, Peach, what's gonna go wrong? Uh-oh, that's not Peach. What? He even put up a mirror. All right, Bowser. Oh, boy. Bowser in the Dark World. Not sure what that switch did. Did it turn off the flames or something? Oh, there's no use trying to climb that slope. We have to go all the way up here. Yep. You know, I suppose the reason I've been wanting to play this again, other than that it's great, is that, you know, you'll see references to this on the internet pretty, pretty often. Like, I feel like, or, or at least you do when you're, you know, frequenting gaming circles. You know, I feel like there's, um, hey, hey, hey. I feel like I, for example, there's that Super Mario Chaos Edition. Or Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition, I mean, which is really Super Mario 64 hacked so that the whole thing is just... Well, it ain't right. <laughs> I believe the Peanut Butter Gamer played through that to the end for some reason. I suppose because he's just a glutton for punishment. Like, on it, I mean, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that there's still a sort of, you know, enough interest in this game that people play it like that. The people would be producing these sorts of hacks. Something I remember they did in the hack was, um... They made a, They redid... Like, they replaced a lot of the sound fonts with Mario's voice. With some pretty... Bizarre and kind of scary results. Oh no! No! Huh. <sighs> 
You know, I think it's a nice touch that they call these levels obstacle co or they call them courses, not levels. Because in effect, they are obstacle courses. Oh, come on, Bowser. Don't laugh. Like, he didn't fall into your trap. He knew your trap was here at this point because he already went here. Didn't he, Bowser? Why, yes, he did. All right, we just gotta make sure we don't die. Bowser, let's see, it's Bowser in the dark world, Bowser, I know the last one's Bowser in the lava world. What's, what, what was the second one though? Cause there aren't, cause I mean, all of, uh, a lot of Super Mario 64 is arranged in threes. Bosses take three hits, for example. Um, and yet there are three Bowser fights if I remember right. But where is the second one? Oh yeah, it was the submarine. So it really wasn't a Bowser fight at all. Actually, was it? I don't clearly remember. Oh, oh, that was my carelessness. I was the careless one in this instance. Mamma mia. But, ba but Mario just is sticks on. He's undeterred. He willingly leaps into a trap three times. It's interesting that the entire course is layered so that it's just like the paths are on top of each other. I forgot that Mario runs around uncontrollably like that when he gets burned. Well, we're not gonna do this. Actually, we're not gonna succeed in this. We need to go get some lives or else I'm not gonna beat Bowser. I'm gonna take multiple tries to beat Bowser, you see. Now, maybe if I were using a controller, I wouldn't have this problem, but I'm not, now am I? So, in fact, let's get, let's get to this. There's a boo right there, I know. But, but here's the door to the basement. And we're not gonna get that key. Or we are, but we're gonna have to do, go through quite a lot to get it. Hey, hey, come back here, you spooky guy. I remember that this is my favorite part, perhaps, of the whole game. Uh, yeah, don't mind me, boo. Oh, I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, it's just a... Boo! You see, in this game, unlike any other Mario game, Mario can kick, can beat up boos. The issue with booze is that in the plural it sounds like you're talking about alcohol. Hey, what's this? Mario is a superhero, isn't he? Anyway, for now we're just gonna get this, we're gonna beat up booze. I mean, you know, as they say, whenever there's one red coin, there's more than one. There's eight of them, specifically. No, Mario, kick behind- the other way! I always thought he sounded kind of like Mickey Mouse. Am I the only one who sees that? Because, you know, it's high-pitched and he's a mascot character with gloves. Oh, don't mind- Me! 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 This is not going so well, is it? Fortunately, every time we take out a boo, we're gonna get a red coin, and that'll... That'll help us out! That'll help us! That'll help us out! And anyway, of course the boos are here because the boos work for Bowser. I never quite understood how Bowser commands an army of ghosts, though. I mean, I guess, is he like a necromancer? Is he... does he rate... or necromancers speak with the dead. They don't... They don't... control them. Now that's a triple jump! You know, Charles Martinet was originally, uh, gave Mario, like, a Brooklyn accent, since Mario is supposed to be Brooklynese, but, uh, they ended up dumping that, apparently, because kids were scared of him. <laughs> so what's gonna happen to this star? We didn't even have to go into an obstacle course to get it. We got it right here in the castle proper. What does this say?
Yeah, I'm already well aware. I like how our options are you bet, not now. It's not a yes or no. The 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 fun of Super Mario 64 extends even into the, like the you know item descript or not item descriptions but prompts to save. You know it's kind of interesting that she has a statue of a power star, particularly because Peach's power stars don't seem to give her too much magic power. I mean she seems kind of ineffective. Hey 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 yo. There you go, this doesn't look like a thing that... It looks perfectly safe to jump into. Oh, what's this guy? A dangerous guy. That's what he is. So what are we here to do? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose get all the silver stars. And avoid these um darn, like, robots. I forget if those turn up anywhere else in the game. How here's just what we're looking for. Is Mario might say, just what I needed. Except more like Mario and less like me speaking in a voice is kinda creepy. Ah yes! Just what I just what I needed. Yeah, I can't I can't do a Mario voice. I'm only mackerel phones, I'm no Charles Martin. Anyway, so yeah, here's Mario in a giant ocean cage. Not sure what's up with this thing we're in. Oh yeah, a giant like Bob Omb looking monster. Hey, hey, what are you what are you doing? Man, Mario just does he keeps getting thrown around everywhere. Before long he's gonna be in all kinds of pain. We did it! Aha is right. Oh Mario, my man. Well, uh. Oh, hold on. We can get onto the underside of this thing, can't we? No! You see, when you ground pound, it causes him not to take damage, because as everybody knows, when you... No! I didn't realize that you lose these and you get hurt. Oh gosh, I should have taken out the big purple guy first. Because I'm pretty sure that this big purple guy, we have to take him out because there's a star inside him. I think. Is it there? No, there's not a star moving on the map. I thought there was. Oh! Well, okay. This place is relentless. What even is this place? Why does the peach have, like... Does, does Peach get kicks at a building giant, like, industrial? Well, you know, it's probably some kind of construction site for Bowser's, um, things. Though I really have no idea why it's full of rolling balls. Like, what do giant rolling balls have to do with... Wait, where'd that... Oh, there's the purple guy. If only these bob bombs weren't pushing me off, and then Mario gets flipped around like a pancake on the griddle! What I need to do is pick up the bob bomb and throw him at the purple guy, I think. Hey. Hey, yeah. Yeah, hey. Alright. Not go well. No! No! No bob bombs! There's just... It's so chaotic. This whole thing is just, like, complete... I mean, I said there was a chaos edition. This is already chaos! We all, we already exist in a world of madness. At this rate, I'm gonna get a hundred coins before I get the silver stars. Not really, I'm I'm only about a third of the way there. A little under a third, of course, but. Hey, 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 you gonna, you gonna be a bob bomb and come down? Gonna, hey, yeah, there was. Hey, hey, bob bomb, bob bomb. No! Missed, missed, missed. Okay, where is the star? It's apparently around here. I think it is. I think it must be in the um, uh, big purple Bob Om looking fellow. Man, Mario, you did. For a guy who pri prides himself on jumping, you did not squish that Goomba very well. Then again, that Goomba is not a very competent soldier himself, is he? Okay, let's try this again. Hey, 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 there we go. Okay. Toss! Okay, we that didn't really hit. There's gonna be another one in just a sec here, though. Just a sec, right? 
Surely. Right? Right? Come on. Okay. Well, we fell, but don't worry. We, we fell, but we're gonna be, we're gonna be back. We're gonna be back up here under the catwalk. This is a dangerous construction site. Bowser does not care about the safety of his own troops, does he? I mean, obviously not. Hey, purple. Come on over, purple. 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 Purple's not gonna come over. Okay. Just... This is just. This is. There are explosions. There are boulders rolling around. This music makes it feel like some kind of fever dream. Right? Am I the only one who feels this way? Surely I'm not. Hey. Oh! Well, Shoe is on the other foot now. We're still not any closer to that one silver star that's supposedly around here, though. Oh, I get it. It was on the floor all along. How ironic. So, it was really like in one of these blocks here, right? I mean, yes. Yes, it was. Like, all these sound effects, like the Goombas marching around, Mario's smashing blocks. And then this music. This music is so unfitting for this chaotic scene. Oh, does the Goomba have it? Yeah, he did. I wonder what that Goomba's story was. You think he had a family? You think, you, you know, do you think he came from somewhere? Do you think he, like, what? why did he join the Koopa Troop? Was it because he had some kind of great passion for for Bowser's cause? Or was it simply because he, his parents were? His whole family had this long history of military service, and he wanted to, he wanted to join them in that service. I don't know. Hey, hey. You know, really, I, I don't think Bowser cares for the Goombas very much because he lets them go out so ill-equipped. They should have, you know, guns. Then they'd be formidable soldiers. Well, their aims would probably still be terrible, but... I like that that mission is just one of the castle's secret stars. It's not like, you know... Let's jump! I said, let's jump! JUMP! So yeah, there he goes. There's the Wario's classic wall jump. Anyway, so yeah, her courtyard has been infested with booze now that Bowser's taken things over. Anyway, we'll check back there later. For now, we should, um... Get more stars! Oh! Oh, we can do this one now. I remember when this I first saw this happen, I thought it was just like the craziest thing. Look up in the sun, and then, well, you, you can see for yourself what happens. I never got all that good at controlling Mario when he does this, though. Yeah, I know. Oh, I see. They sh can show you where they all are, all are on the map. But that's not why we're here. To me, this is one of the classic magical moments of Super Mario 64. Or it would be if I knew how to control Mario. And so now that Mario's went through the magical portal in the ceiling... Here we go. I think... No! Okay! I don't remember it being this hard to control flying Mario in Super Mario Galaxy! Maybe it was, though. In any case, so... Oh, the red blocks are solid. And what's inside? That's right. A feather. Apparently, a magic feather that can... You know. Oh, down is Usen. You see? That's not the sort of thing that you, you know, I would normally think of. So down is... Okay, so we go up to descent. And the further you descend down, the higher up you can, like, you know, soar up when he says yippee. Because Mario is really having a great time of all this. 
But yeah, you know, his wing cap is what even made it onto the uh, box art of the original release. Yeah, we're not going to get those coins. Let's just get out of here. Let's get, head back down to Earth. Or to the Mushroom World, as the case may be. Now while we're at it, more stars is always good, so let's go... ...and, uh... ...get us some red coins if we can. I don't remember this being an easy thing to do, though. Maybe it actually is, and if you, if you're, if you're like, have any idea what you're doing. Ah, so close. Oh, so those ones are lower down. I mean, I probably should have go for the ones that are higher up first, though. Oh, hey, there they are. There they are. There. Oh, yeah! Two in one go, baby! Is there a time limit on this stage to how long we can fly in the wind cap? I don't really know! I think I've already taken too long because I'm slowly sinking. Yeah, I took too long. That's all there is to it. I mean, I'm glad that Bob and Buddy cleared up that they have something to do with the red coins. But if they know where they are, why can't they just go get them? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! It's a good thing that was a magic portal in the sky or Mario would be dead. Okay, let's, um... Let's go check out bob on Battlefield. I think, if I seem to remember, that was one of the stages where I got all of the stars, which should hardly be surprising, given that it's the first one. Alright, five silver stars. You know, I think their ordering is kind of erratic. Like, what exactly makes this, say, an easier... Like, why, like, why does this one go before the mission where we free the chain jump? Is there any reason? Doesn't, I don't see one. Anyway, um... I suppose that the re oh the chain chomp is already free on this stage for some reason. So uh, why is that star moving around over there? Is it because the chain chomp ate it? I can't help but suspect it is. It's just this feeling I have. Oh yeah, it's chase. It's not doesn't eat it. It's like attached to the chain for some reason. Hey hey chain chomp hey chain chomp. There we go. Chain Chomp doesn't even know the difference. All right, we got that one. Yeah, this is before the mission where we free the Chain Chomp, though. How odd. Where's causality? Where's the Where's the cause and effect relationship? What kind of crazy world do we live in? Is there no cause and effect? Anyway. Mario is very good at using people's is using his enemies' bodies to kill other enemy soldiers. That's pretty horrifying when you get down to it. Being killed with the body of your comrade. Although I think the bob bombs are treated more as like um tools, given that they blow themselves up. I never really figured out what's up with this. There's one over here, right? Yeah. So could we have gotten these silver stars before? No, they, we couldn't have because that one was above a tree and I would have noticed it if it were there on the other missions. So some of the stars you can't get in just whatever order you happen to find them. Some of them you have to be in the mission or they're not going to come up. You see, these special like hidden one-ups, I think is I think that kind of stuff is really neat. Um. It makes it feel like, well, of course, Finding Secrets has always been a Mario series trademark. From the original Super Mario Brothers. Oh, what does this sign say? No, Mario, don't break your hands on the bars. I should have read that the first time. That would have been a good introduction to how, um, all of these guys have the stars and their relationship with Bowser. I just took it for granted because it's like, you know, of course that's what's happening. 
Oh, wait, I thought it was probably. I figured that silver star was probably inside the the, the brick block. Um. Oh, I get it. Why they're brick blocks? It's because in like Super Mario Brothers, there are those uh blocks that Mario jumps up and breaks with his head. So remember, kids, if you find a brick, a bunch of bricks in a pile, just slam your head on them as hard as you can. And maybe some money will pop out. Or delicious food. We're going for a slide, Mario. Good job, Mir. Miro. What's his, his name? His name is Maro. His Maro. Get the star, Maro. Bone Maro. I mean, he's probably concerned about his brother, though. Or you think he would be, I mean... He, he, you know, Luigi's in dire straits right now. I understand why he doesn't care as much about Wario. Because that's their dynamic. Even though Wario is the best character. Well, uh, Luigi's pretty cool, too. Okay, okay, Bowser, we're gonna fall in your trap again. Oh, look, it turned into... A Portrait of Bowser instead. What a twist! It actually is pretty clever that they take the time to put in that kind of detail, I think, but. The key here is take it slow and steady by sprinting up the path. You know what they say sprinting up the path wins the. Oh, I see now. On the map. I thought this was all like layered in one layer, but no, it's not. There is an uh, there is an upper an upper portion. I believe that you're able to trigger the red block, the red switch, once you uh, get a certain number of stars, right? I guess the red switch is actually like a sort of a nod to uh, Super Mario World, or. In any case, is based off of something from Super Mario World, where, you know, you have the Switch Palaces. Really, um, in its focus on exploration, uh, which Super Mario... Like, Super Mario World also had a focus on exploration. And this one, Super Mario 64, took that emphasis on exploration to sort of a, uh, new level... Okay. Okay. Like, this is way more explore... E than um, any other like Mario games up to this point. Like it basically is all exploration, which I think is really what makes this you know stand out in the Mario series. Of, hey, you, you done? Bye. Anyway, now that we killed Goomba. Wait, hold on. What the? Oh, if we would want the red coins, we would go over there. I'm not in this for the red coins. I'm in this to get to get to Bowser. Maybe we'll get the red coins later. But right now, not so much. Okay! Okay! Alright. So what we need to do is get over to there, right? Can do! Now I just need to jump up the stairs. Which have this odd checker pattern. Why do they, you think? Anyway, what's, the, oh, what's this sign say? No! Oh, thank you! Who put this sign here? Was it a toad? No, oh, wait, you can spin him without using the... You don't need to use the touch screen. Really? Oh. Well, I'll go back there some other time. Well, Bowser, my old man, you look so, he looks so much, he looks so much better in this one than in the original Super Mario 64, doesn't he? I mean, Bowser does. In the original Super Mario 64, he just looks really dumb. In this one, he actually looks, uh, missed. 
Missed, missed, missed. That's what the pattern here is. You get going too fast, and then it's hard to um, throw them into the bombs. This is, uh, I think, some of Bowser's... Well, it's a very different kind of Bowser music than you get in the fights with him in, say, Super Mario Galaxy. You know, it's not like a choral thing. And frankly, I think in, in, in many ways it's a lot more fitting than what you have in, say, Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, alright, we're gonna throw him into the bombs! That did not go so well. Bowser... I, admittedly, I'm not sure how Mario is able to pick you up. Like, I would also not expect him to be... Ugh. I did not get going fast enough. I would also not expect him to be able to pick you up, Bowser. I'm not really sure how he does. I mean, I think it's a good question. So I'm looking at the touch screen. Is Bowser and Mario are both getting pretty dizzy now. And I'm gonna let go... No! That did not work. Why am I not... Why is this not working? Am I forgetting some button I need to press? I'm not going fast enough? Is that the problem? Whoa! What did I just do with a camera a second ago? I know, I'm glad I... Did... Do... It... Do... 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 I don't get it! I could have sworn I let go of the button when I was facing the bomb! What happened? When he jumps in the platform rocks, Mario is temporarily unable to move. For some reason. Okay, so do I need to press the A? This is so stupid because they just told me and I already. I hate myself. Okay, now we've come this far. We're not gonna stop now. We're gonna do this! Oh. Yeah, we have to tap the A button again, I guess? But we're already holding it down! Look at Bowser just flailing around like a little kid. He never grew up. Really, he didn't. Because he was pampered as a kid and they still treat him that way, Kamek and his other toadies. Literally, Kamek has his henchmen who are called the toadies, doesn't he? Do the toadies actually take care of Bowser, though? I kind of doubt it. You know, you are really not doing a good job, Bowser. Oh, why does he breathe coins? So that's where they all came from. I see now. Well, Bowser, how does that feel? And so Bowser teleported away. Using the black magic of the Koopa Clan! Which they talked about in the original Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> if only this were the key we needed to save our brother. Don't worry though, we're gonna get that key in a bit here. I feel like I'm moving along at a much faster pace than I did when I played this as a kid. Maybe I was a stupid and extremely incompetent kid. Oh, that boo put on some weight. Come back here. As you can see, they're just full of normal coins now. But there is this unusually big one with a strange certain so something inside him. In inside him. In inside him. But Mario died trying to get it. Mamma mia. I'm sorry, Mario. But your princess is in this same castle, though, so I'm not sorry about that. 
soon we'll save everybody. One of the nice touches is that depending on who you're playing as, the toads will say different things to you. But I suppose I should probably actually play as somebody else to demonstrate. There we go. When I first found this, I thought this was so cool. It was so interesting, perhaps I should say. The magic of the booze shrinks Mario down. The idea of a haunted house in a cage just struck me as so strange. I understand why they put all the ellipses. Because that pun was pretty darn great. And this is another mechanic that uh, sets this one apart from the original Super Mario 64. In Super Mario 64, Mario could turn invisible, he could turn into a metal Mario, etc. Here, power flowers are like items that each character reacts to differently. That's the case you are still being Yoshi for some inexplicable reason. Maybe you missed the prompt to save Mario? Or you were playing as Yoshi because you like him, you know. I never use the touchscreen for anything. In any, in any case, our fight with- oh, what's this strange metal thing? In any case, our fight with Bowser um, was sort of a preview of the fights we'll have down the road, you know, further down the line here. Hmm, this does not look like a normal kind of room. T turn around, turn around! You know, I forget, some things just aren't worth it. Like these filthy ghosts. Is there nothing else in here? No, there's not. This was uh, probably my favorite stage. It just st struck me as so sort of... Uh, I oh. Well, make fun of me all you want. Ghosts don't die, huh? In any case, I like that th they made this kind of spooky level. I think it, um, you know, adds some, you know, ad it definitely adds some character. Oh? Ah oh, yes, this famous set piece. Do, 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 do. Nothing wrong here. Oh. It's weird, I could have sworn that... Oh, there it went. I think? Yeah, I guess it's just a normal piano then. Anyway, uh oh. Why didn't tossing furniture and inanimate objects come back as things booze did in later Mario games? I don't know, did they decide it was it too cliche or something? I wonder what's in here. Yeah, it's probably not an invis invisible wall or anything. And so here is one of those power flowers. For Mario, they. Well, I forget what they. Oh yeah, he floats! I forgot about this. Now, it's obviously not here for him though, it's here for Luigi who needs to turn invisible and go through the uh... Oh, well, I might as well actually while I'm at it, get this red coin here. No! No, Mar- Mario, are you- is he getting bigger or is it just the camera? I think it's just the camera. No, let's- we'll be on our way. Oh, let's see what's in this room. Oh, it's Mr. I. And a very fast ghost. Ooh! Anyways, you might notice the blue coins are unique because they count for so much extra health. Oh, that's good. I thought there was a pit around the uh, around the room. Really? You're all gonna repeat this taunt? That's just tasteless. Anyway, is there even anything in here? No. No, guess not, just Mr. I. 
Well, I think that's everything there is in the Oh wait, there's one more door. Also, now that I look at it, it looks like the, the library connect or is this the library? I'm not sure what this room is. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. <gasps> there we go. Why do they all have to make fun of me, huh? Talk about a bunch of tasteless ghosts. They're not delicious at all. Actually, if you fall down in this pit in here, I wonder if anything will happen. Probably, I'll just die. Nah, JK! This was another thing I found so interesting about this uh, level. Was this strange, and to me rather spooky? Underground carousel. I don't think I can get all the red coins right now, though. Let's see how we got a big pool of water down here. Odd touch. We got this coin, this box here from when there's a silver star challenge later. You see, they kind of reuse a lot of these challenges. Yeah, we're not heavy enough to break that. Even though Mario eats all that pasta. But, uh... Wait, how do I get out? Oh yeah, there's this, there, there's this shallow pool of water. And here's the door out. Yeah, we're gonna need somebody else to get through there. But, but anyway, so, you know, of course in this game they use, um... The same... Like, they have the same sort of challenges for each stage, in addition to certain unique ones, because of course every stage has... Oh, I ran right into Mr. I. Because of course every stage has the, um, uh... This isn't gonna work, forget it. Uh, well... Yeah, you, you can't hit them, you can't hurt them except by making them dizzy. They turned up in Super Paper Mario, Mr. I did. Rather unusual, that. They have a high-pitched voice, though. It's almost cute. Now, you might notice there's also a back entrance. And that's what I like about, uh, about this game, or one of the many things I like, even though they sort of, uh... Hey, 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 hey. What, I forgot what these spider things are called. These are the same models for them they used in, um, Super Mario 60... or New Super Mario Brothers. Probably because they already had the model made, you know? At this rate, I might get the hundred coins. Oh, hey, don't, don't mind me. There, nah. Yeah, yeah, you don't die. So what just happened to you, huh, but bozo? Hmm? Who's coming? What? Something, something happening? As you can see, if we had Luigi, we could have phased through the painting, but, uh... In any case, it looks like the star is in the lobby, in the foyer. So let's go there. I'm sure that this master of mischief is nothing that Mario can't handle. Mario's taking out lots of bad guys. Oh, it's another one of these spider guys. What the heck? Excuse me? In any case, there are a lot of levels in this game that I never really figured out. That bounce box reminded me of the, uh... What's it called? Shifty Sandland? Oh, he's a tall guy. I'll beat him like I beat the rest of them. I think. Hey! Okay, this is getting desperate pretty fast! But we still beat him, yes! Really? Really? It, oh! I see, he was holding down the stairs somehow. Well, that was Big Boo! Well, anyway, we'll go back to more uh, ghost-busting challenges later on. 
and all sorts of other crazy stuff's gonna happen too. In fact, I just wanna make sure, I wanna check on something. One of the things I found so sort of entrancing about this game when I first played it was the way that you could uh, find all the sort of secret things that were hidden, even in places like the outside. Like, look at that water there. You see how there's some doors in the moat? Yep. You know, I've heard of people talk about how when Super Mario 64 first came out and there had never been a full 3D game like this before. They could just go out here and swim around in the water and they were totally entranced. And that for them, that would have almost been enough to just, you know, impress them like, well, this is your game? Yeah, I'll... It's a great game, I'll take it. Well, hey, hold on, what does this sign say? Anything? Yeah, I know all that already. Gosh. You know, it's just sort of interesting to be to imagine a time when just being able to swim in a video game could have been so magical. And even today, I just think there's a certain... I guess magic could be the word for this game. It's odd, though. When I first played this when I was a kid, I was almost, like, scared of it. Oh, I wonder what's through here. Well, we'll work on this. We'll get to, we'll find the right key down the line here. Slippy slide! I feel like I one time saw an adult slide down a railway like that. I was pretty surprised because I think of that as a child thing. Oh well, we're all somebody's children. Oh, here's the next door. Don't worry, we're coming for you, Peach. Really, it's odd that this game is so lighthearted and goofy and fun, when the situation is pretty dire, like Bowser won! He took over the Mushroom Kingdom! What the... Oh, hey. Bunny is down here, huh? Maybe I should come back with Yoshi. Yoshi's better at eating them. Of course, bunnies came back in Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. I'm not sure why these guys are down here, though. I mean, they're surely not normally in the, in the dungeons. Oh, for the rec room. Yeah, I'll save it. I don't really know why I should celebrate the rec room. How you doing, little toad? Whatever you say, little toad. Anyway, I feel like we are gotten a bit turned around. Um, yeah, okay, so... Okay, let's go back down in here and go to one of the new down here levels. Like, for example... Oh, there's nothing in this corner. Or is there? Okay, no! No, there's really not! There's really not! Ah, yes! This is a classic. To me, this is the point at which the games begin becoming, uh... Oh. That's pretty brutal, man. For me, this is the point at which the game begins becoming kind of, like, mysterious. I forgot how many puns there were in this game. I wholeheartedly approve, of course, but... Oh, it's a bully. Hey, bully. So that was the fiery end they uh, foretold. Well, those bullies sure are bullies. But don't worry, there's still more bullies around here. We're gonna find, we're gonna bully the heck out of them. What the? 
Why is this stopping? Oh, volcano's erupting! You know, when they say this lava is lethal, they aren't kidding! Although, it strikes me as kind of unnecessary to point out that lava is lethal. I mean, of course it is. It's lava. Hey! 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 Hey, you big bully! I've had just about enough of you! You said they say you should stand up for yourself, and that means that you should push the bullies into pits of... Uh, of fire! No! Okay, this is really... This fight is not going well against just one bully. Okay, you know what? Forget. You know what? Forget. Forget. Let's just get. Let's just go over here to the, to the big, to the Bowser sliding puzzle, sliding block puzzle. Oh, these things are sinking in and out of the lava, right? It's strange that they're visible through the lava, though, as if the lava is like water. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Well, um, I think you guys can see what makes this dangerous. As it turns out, lava is pretty dangerous. Though, of course, they managed to make it all slapstick and goofy because Mario, like, you know, clutches his butt in pain as it's on fire and hops around and goes, Wah -ha 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 -ha! Just like that. Okay. Now, how are we going to stand a chance into the big bully if we can't even boil a little bully, huh? I'll tell you how, we're not. But we're already off to a pretty good start here, aren't we? Okay. I was gonna go for the red stars, for the red coin star first. I think I, you know, I think I will just go. I think I will just go boil big bully. He's uh, over this way, right? He's o over on the bully path. They didn't bully. Used to be like a slang word for like. No, go, okay. Okay, this is not good. Hey, hey. Hey, you, you want to... Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. I want to... But come on, I want to... Okay, admittedly, Mario picked the fight that time. That's just because the, the, the bully thought that he had already won. Okay, you know, forget it. We, 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 we desperately need some coins. Oh, boy. Get those coins. Get the coins. Mario, get the... Well, he is. I don't need to say it like he's... Like... Oh. How's this stuff floating? Whatever. It's floating on the on the surface. Oh, here's the big one. He has a deeper voice. The key is to get them before they begin hitting you. And I did! Where is it? Oh, it's up here? Okay. Nope. Nope. No. It's rather odd that Lethal Lava Land abruptly comes to a close. It's just a floating tile of lava in a sea of darkness. Bowser would probably like that place. As Bowser once said, nothing like the smell of lava in the morning. As you can see, Lethal Lava Land is the domain of the uh, bullies. I don't know that the bullies are Bowser's most famous henchmen. In fact, have they ever turned up after this? Oh, we already are off to a bad start. Yeah, well. Yeah, nobody wins. It's a cruel world. A cruel god reigns. Come on, get on the platform. Okay, now get all the coins. Oh, oh no. You know what? Let's just get away from the erupting volcano. I mean, personally, I think it's a... No, 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 no! Okay, we did it. We're back on on solid ground. Those bullies there are not the bullies we need the, we need the bully, though. The bullies we need the bully are the ones over, over on this platform on the other side of these rising and sinking tiles, with, which are shaped like... I guess these are the same kind of tiles that were like... Okay, well, that didn't go very well. The same kind of titles, the tiles that were in Bowser in the, in the, in the Dark World, right? Hey, quit, quit it. Hey, you're gonna keep... Knock it off, you... The issues, there are so many of them. You see, what we need to do is we need to get them close to the edge and then knock them over. 
No! Are these like intelligent agents? Or are they like, you know, mindless? Are they like robots? They don't seem terribly intelligent to me. When I think of intelligent, I don't think ramming your into guys eternally. I mean, they are probably just some kind of security robots that the Koopas built, or golems, or something like that. I wonder where that just appeared in a puff of smoke. Oh, another big bully. No, I'm glad that it didn't quite knock us off. Well, we both fell in together. Oh no, this was a bad time for the star to pop out. Oh no, that wasn't so bad. Could have gone worse. You know, if we freeze-framed Mario at that point, at his point of victory, as he's flying through the air, on fire, clutching at his bottom. It wouldn't be so dignified now, would it? No, on the contrary, it would be not dignified at all. Is this the way to the Hazy Maze Cave? It is. To be honest, I never actually figured out how to navigate the Hazy Maze. I never got through it. Maybe that'll change today. Not today, but at some point. I think it's so interesting the way there's a pool of mercury in the floor. Or so it looks like to me. Oh, hey, what's this say? Okay, we need to get right now to the, um... So we've got a crouch. So we're gonna do a crouch jump, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Crouch and jump! Made it. Perfect. Oh, you're not doing a very good job running, are you? Four-legged Spider-Man. Why do all the enemies have that noise? It's rather odd, isn't it? Hmm? No oh, underground lake, huh? That sounds like where this beast in the underground lake might be. I mean, it seems that way to me. I'm no detective. I'm no Sherlock Holmes. Whoa, 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 boulders. You know what they say about boulders? If one falls on you, you die because that's how gravity works. You see, the fact that there's a closed thing here, like who... What is this cave? Is this cave like a mine? Do people work here? I don't know. Oh, this is the kind of thing I like. Well, down we go. Ride the lift. Another good thing about the soundtrack here is that it's dynamic. Which is something you also see with the music in, um, uh... Uh, some, of the, some levels we'll get to later. Wait, what are you doing here? Well, you're right about fashion trends, bob -omb, buddy. I mean, what what is this? Is this the country of the bob -omb buddies? Or you know how that, like, at least when I'm recording this, a big criticism of the last few Paper Mario games has been that there are, like, just about no NPCs except Toads? But why? Like, doesn't make any sense. Even in the, because in the mainstream, like, Super Mario Brothers games, there are plenty. It's a nice touch that Tessie is wearing the, or not Tessie, what is this beast called? I forget what this creature is called. It's a nice touch anyway that she's, um, oh, and she's wearing the yellow cat herself, but, Oh, what the, what's happening? Anyway, it's a nice touch that she's wearing the yellow cap. Oh, what, what, come. No, don't swim down, swim forward, Mari. It's also a nice touch that the road, like, continues into the, uh... Anyway, let's get it. I think it's, what the? Huh? Oh, that's right, we can sort of steer which way they go. 
Well, there we go. I think we, that was necessary because only Wario can hit hard enough. It just seems wrong to have that voice coming out of that face. In that case, it's amazing to me just how much better it looks on the DS than it did on the N64. All the characters actually look like how their artwork looks like. It's amazing. Well, hold. On, I want to do the do a backflip. There we go. I don't want to do this mission. I remember this. You have to ride like a weird lift around and get all the red coins. Hey, hey, hey. What happens if Wario puts on the a yellow cap? Does he go double Wario? Does he double down on the Wario? Probably. This is how you build empathy. Yeah, this is some kind of, like, mining shaft, right? Anyway, this is how you build empathy. You know, you have, uh... You, t you literally turn into another person. We all know that, right? Right. Now, what's this sign say? I like that guidance. Although the truth, of course, is that... Oh, we have to get there in a time limit, huh? Can Wario do it? Or not Wario, as the case may be. I, I think that's, like, great that, that, you know, that they're like, do you have rocks? You know, if you're shaped like a rock, or of rocks for brains. Aww. We got pretty close, honestly. Okay, stop. Hold on. Here's what we're gonna do. We, we can make this. I just, it's so horrifying hearing Wario's, Mario's voice coming out of, out of Wario's body. What, I tell you what, this dark magic, do, do the dark, does the dark magic of the Koopa clan know no bounds? We're not, we're never gonna make it. Let's just do the red coin thing, whatever. Who needs it, anyway? I probably got it when I played this, you know, years ago. It's just not right, seeing that voice and this face. It's just not right. Wario would be horrified, too. Mario's okay with it, though. What the? What just happened? Um... Well, you know, these three sort of things are par for the course. Well, let's just go through here. I'm sure it's safe on the other side. Yeah, I'm sure it's just safe to just jump down that hole. That's not necessarily a problem. Oh. That's not necessarily a problem either. So let's see here. So. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's, what's the worst that could happen if we just dive right in. Oh. Okay, we're, we're doomed now. This is literally impossible because, we, we, because this weird ghost sniffet thing. Is taken away our only our only. W or actually, no. Hold on. Mario can get through this too, can he? Cause he. Come on. There we go. Okay, Mario, go. Don't stop, Mario. Keep. Come on, Mario. You can do it, Mario. Mario, I believe in you, Mario. Yeah, Wario couldn't get up to this little thing here, could he? Hey, hold on. What the heck? Oh, well, did us some good. That did us, huh? Um. What are those bats? What do they want? 
Why are they flying so low? I don't know. It's it's unknown to me. Oh, I see. I'm going the wrong way anyway. Okay, no, Mario. No, no, Mario. Mar Mar okay. Now, Wario would be able to just walk through this since he doesn't need to breathe, you know? Is, is it... Okay, you know what? This is... I know what those bats are. I've seen those in other Mario games. Well, let's just run, run. Come on, just... You done? We can't go down in the hole ourselves, though. No, come... Okay, you know what? This is not gonna end well. Oh, if you exit the course, you go... You not only do not get your health back, but you're sent all the way back to the, uh, foyer. Interesting. And now I know. You know, they say that's half the battle. What's that noise I hear? Is that a bunny? Yeah, there's a bunny in here! What the heck? You little... Come back here, you filthy intruder! These darn... Rabbits! Why does Peach let... Why does Peach tolerate... Or she doesn't. They're, they're, they're only in here because the entire castle is falling into disrepair. It's being reclaimed by nature, as all man's works inevitably are. Anyway, I came in here for Jolly Roger Bay. Not for this crap. Hey, what's up, Toad? Sorry, Toad. Wait, they are actually a fungus? I thought they just looked like a fungus. You see? That's, um... That's conditioning in progress. That's how people become zombies. That's how they obey authority. So I'm not sure what's going on here. What's Stone Pillar? What's going on? Blasting to it? What are they talking about? I guess we're gonna shoot ourselves out of a can... In. Okay. Well, um... Oh, that sounds like a good stopping point. Hey! Yeah, this is, I think, exactly what needed to be done. Wait, does your cannon work when it's full of water like that? How is the gunpowder going to ignite? Well, I mean, whatever. I mean, you know more about these things than I do. You're the, you're the, you're the person who's, who's full of gunpowder themselves. What the heck? Oh. I see, this would let us get onto the boat. Well, I know that this is not the intended route to the, uh, floating... to the... Wh whatever the star is, but... I've come this far! I'm gonna finish what I started! Oh, hey, actually, while we're here, we might be able to get some red coins. Hey, coins. Yeah, I wanna... Come here! There we go. We'll get this one. We'll get the... Uh, I said... I said we'll get this one, and we did. That's because when I say we're gonna do something, we do it. Okay, no, no. Don't worry. We're, we'll get... We'll get this, uh... Red coin! What's this box sliding around on deck, though? Why aren't... <laughs> the... So the physics, I feel like, in Super Mario... Well... No, you know what? Forget it. Let's just go get... Let's go swim back out to where we're supposed to be anyway. Now, I feel like the physics in Super Mario 64 are, uh... a little more complex than they are in most of the other 3D Mario games. So, yeah, it's up here, huh? Okay, well, there's the structure that's flooded, so... I mean, really, that bob -omb probably doesn't realize that, you know, his the cannon is flooded. Which is going to lead all sorts of problems when this doesn't work, and ba Mario's gonna like, you know, like, hey, come on, why didn't that work? And what is he gonna be able to say? Not much. 
it's like above there, right? Oh, I see where it is. Well, now Mario has a serious concussion. Are there any power flowers around here now that I think about it? Mario could just fly up there, or float up there, I guess, since it turns into a big bubble. A big balloon. Yeah, there is. This is one way to get up there, am I right? Of course I'm right. All right. Come on, Mario. I know you're floating along at a leisurely pace. You know, frankly, you'd think his body would be in a lot of pain while this is going on. Oh, they put a, uh... Well, whatever, it's fine. We're not gonna get that one up, but that's fine. Because we got the star! Th some thanks to that Bob bomb buddy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going for another swim. You know, that painting does not is not a painting of Jolly of, you know, Jolly Roger Bay. It's a painting of some bubbles. Why exactly does Peach just have a painting of some bubbles hanging on her wall? Or for that matter, a lot of these paintings she has are, like, terrible. Like, why would she have a painting of, like, a demonic, fiery face smiling evilly? Just seems a little out of character for her, you know? I mean, I don't know, I guess she has a dark side. Everybody does. Or, not everybody. I still rem remember that scene in Twin Peaks where Cooper is, you know, like, you know, come on, surely Agent Cooper... You know, you have a secret. Like, surely they're thinking, you know, you have secrets, Agent Cooper. And he says, nope. <laughs> or, or really, he just says, no. But he says it so confidently and so immediately as if, like, of course I don't have secrets. I'm an honest man. I don't want this shell. Actually, what happened if you use the shell underwater? Would you begin to float? Would you float up to the surface? I mean, I guess. Why are there red coins in these oysters' mouths anyway? How does that work? Do they calcify like pearls? I mean, I wouldn't think so. They don't look like they're, you know, calcium based. Why did that hurt Mario just to, to touch it? Well, I mean, I'm of the opinion that this old trope in of video games were like, you know, if a character is, um, like if you touch an enemy, you know, it hurts you. Like, why does that make any sense? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so most of the, uh... Most of the coins are on the boat. But I missed one over further on not the boat. So let's go over to where that was. Oh, I see. It's up there. Don't worry. It's a good thing there's a power flower right here. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to power our way through this flower. This barrier made of flower. Oh, no. Oh, that Bowser, he plays dirty. What the? Mario, get... I feel like Mario's going to... Okay, come on. Yeah, come on, Mario. There we go. So we need... No. Okay, so Mario, you need to turn around and face... Here, this way, Mario. Good job, Mario. We jumped up high enough to get it, but I don't want to get it that way. I'll just float over there with bl in balloon form. I use the balloon copy ability. All right. Balloon Mario, fly! So majestic. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? I know I haven't. Uh oh. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Criminy. What's so frustrating is he totally. He totally could have gotten it. Well, that's what they. You know, try, try again. It would have really helped, I guess, if I could have seen it where it was. Probably would have helped. 
And uh, now that I can see where it is, we're gonna get to it way more easy, more easily. Come on, Mario, build up that balloon momentum. How is he propelling himself, actually? He's not like kicking his feet or something. And this could just be wind blowing him because he is still controlling where he's going, you know? If any other Mario games had fall damage, I suppose that um, Super Mario Sunshine probably did. All right, no, well, didn't go as well as it could have if this were a game were in the hands of a competent man. But I never said I was competent. I'm doing this for me, not for you. I'm doing this for me. Just this once. I want to live for myself. Not for some, not for someone else. I'm just being on the, on the deck of the ship. Now what I'm kind of wondering about is that box with the skull and crossbones on it. What is that? Is it like full of poison? Bombs? Is it just a pirate box? Yeah, it's a very painful box, whatever it is. Probably because it just slid into Mario. Uh-oh. Here we go. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, there we go. Wait, there's still more? Did I miss one? It's like one in here? No. Where is it? Oh, Bob Bomb, buddy. Show me, show me the truth. Don't mind my strange landing. I see it's down below the ship in the depths of the sea. Well, let's go for a bit of a swim, Mario. Man, Mario, you should be like a professional diver. You totally could. Okay, there it is. Look at all the fish. That's a nice touch, the fish. And there it is. There, I think. Yeah, here we go. I think I just heard the uh, eel, though. Oh, I have to go all the way back up to the boat. Okay. Wait, did I hear the eel? Uh, Unagi's, yeah, probably still down here somewhere. He's our old buddy, Unagi. You know, the key to cooking delicious eel, honestly, is less to do with the grilling of the eel and more to do with the Unagi sauce. It's all in the sauce. Okay, now I just need to cross over these platforms again. Once again, and I, so like, what did Yoshi do earlier that caused the ship to be drained of water? Did he get, like, he got the star, but then the ship, like, already began, I mean, I guess it just was that the that it began to rise now that the... But it was full of water, though. It couldn't have ro rose... Like, it wouldn't rise just because Unagi got out of it. Even if his weight was what ca was causing it to stay down to begin with, it, it was already full of water. So why did it rise? What it... Did we pierce a hole in it and somehow drain out all the water? I certainly have no idea. Anyway, we need nine more stars. Now oh, that rabbit's back. Yeah, well, yeah. no, oh, hey, you. Wait, they still called her Toadstool in this one? But in the opening, didn't they address her as Peach? So what's going on? What's up with that? I don't know. Oh, we can't go in the side paintings. It's not like Little Big Land or whatever that level is. We'll get to that one later, folk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get one. Th we're gonna get the darn slide star. The worst star ever. No, 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 Ma no, Mario, go into the. No, go. There we go. All right, Mario. This is gonna go so bad. This is gonna go south. Or hope. Well, we don't want it to go south. We just want it to go down, because we're going down on the slide. You know? Alright, so far, so good. So far, nobody. We, we're, we're alive. I wonder if this is a secret passage. Could it be? Well, what do you know? 
We got a one-up on our secret passage. That's the best thing to get on a secret passage. We got a second one. Oh, how many more secret passage, secret passage are we gonna find? Oh, there we go. So you see, if you know that there's a secret passage, suddenly this becomes way, way, way easier. And you get a bunch of free green mushrooms from it. Oh, so this is the finished lineup. Huh? Nice place. Yep. Nice place. And once we come out the bottom... So you see, that's how they get around here. Actually, that is a fast way to travel down the mountain and do it safely if we go through the secret passage. In record time, no less. Okay. So, uh, I guess next... We'll get some more stars. Yep. We can go get the penguin kid and slide down the mountain. See? Little penguin lost. Sounds like the episode of a television show. Well, I guess in a certain sense, the, the you know, our adventures here are like different seasons. And I keep on calling. I know that some people think it's funny to drop this baby penguin off the mountain. But why'd I do that? Mario's a nicer guy. Unless you're in the Koopa Troop, in which case he'll murder you immediately without any remorse or a second thought or, a, or any even, even a moment's hesitation. Because if you're with Bowser, you're with the enemy. You know, it's like Nier. In the end of the Mario series, Mario is going to realize that all along, those people you were fighting... Wh wait, why does it... I never really thought about this before, but why did... No, no! Why did that happen? I never really thought about this before, but why does the penguin sound like a... No, no, no! That was close. Why does the penguin sound like a... I don't know, like a car alarm or something. Like, do do do. I mean, here it sounds like a animal, but... Why does Mario keep letting go of it? No, no Mario, don't... S is this... Is, it, is this little, like, rock protruding from the ice, this slippery Mario, that you just slide down like that? Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. You, Mario, you're better than this. Come on, Mario. And this is his running speed. Wow. Anyway, I just need to make it past these guys. Mario, why are you sliding? Mario, quit, quit it. Was there even a slope here? Why, did, why was he sliding? Well, anyway, it doesn't matter because we, we've gotten across now. We're gonna get this down here. We're gonna get down to the mother penguin on the bottom side of this cabin, which is built like through the mountain. Okay. Hey, mom, mom penguin. Yoshi didn't do it, but Mario saved her, your kid. Yes. How did she get the star? Does she work for Bowser? Guess it just goes to show that even Bowser's minions can have some humanity. This is like in the second half of Nier when Nier began realizing that about the shades. That's what I figured. I figured out Miyamoto's grand plan from the very beginning. Oh, Miyamoto, you genius man! All right, well, um, no, I want I want to backflip in. There we go. Right into the, into the, uh, uh, uh. So she repays us by facing us in a death course, is that it? Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, her son's already lost again, this irresponsible woman. Hey, hey, hold on. You can't start like that. You, you got a head start, you filthy cheater. Uh, she's just sliding down in pursuit of the, um, uh... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you filthy, stinking cheater. I know that you're probably thinking, like, eat my snow. Well, anyway, so Mario wins by cheating. Or not. I mean, she never said you couldn't take this route, and she probably knows about it. I'm amazed that that speed didn't, like, crush Mario just now.
Hey, you didn't lay down any rules at all. Now you're just being like, ah, you cheated, you monster. I'll oh, screw you too. You saved your kid, now you're like ma making fun of me? I don't need this crap. Wait, hold on. Yo, you're a different penguin, I'm sorry. My bad. So, uh, what are we gonna do? I mean, we're already here. I guess we can try and get all the red coins again. We didn't pull it off as Yoshi. Maybe, maybe we'll pull it off as, as Mario. Oh, I see. The kid is over here. Yep. Just kidding around, that kid is. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. I noticed that there is, like, an area on the other side that's on the same elevation as where we just were. So I think I'm going to go over there just now and see what all the other side of the mountain has to offer. Wow, we are really high up, though. Uh, what could go wrong? Right? Nothing! I'm sorry that I killed you, flower girl. Really, that's a pretty heinous thing to do. It's like, yeah, I just casually killed somebody. You know, don't, don't mind me. But, oh, for a second there, I thought it was a shell. But no, one-ups always are introduced by doing the magic one-up dance. We all, we've all been there. We've all seen the magic one-up dance. I think sooner or later, everyone in all, like, in all our lives, we do the magic one-up dance. Who doesn't? Yeah, this is definitely a, sli a slippy, slidey level. Even though in my experience, snow isn't particularly frictionless. Oh, God. That was a sure, that, that's just a cheap shot, you know, putting that there. But fortunately, we survived. I know you're still sad. I helped the penguin, and I'll help you too later on, Snowy. But not today. Later, Snowy. Wait, hold on. Is there a bridge down here? Wait, hold on. There's a lower level. I thought I was already on the lowest level, though. I suppose I wasn't. Er, no, I was. I, I was earlier. It just, like, splits again here into an even lower level. Well, it looks like there's a red coin on down there anyway. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is that... What the heck? This is that chasm with, like, the, the winds, isn't it? Wait, what happened to the winds? You remember earlier when you tried to cross the, the, the chasm, there were gales that blew, blew up? Well, whatever, screw it, I hate that level anyway. In my opinion, a lot of the starting levels are the worst levels, except bob on Battlefield. Actually, is Big Boo's Haunt one of- I don't think that's one of the starting levels. Might as well head back there, though. Come to think of it, is there a hundred coins challenge, like, for the castle itself? Like, outside of any particular level? There might be! Huh, I wonder how many... I, I could probably... What if I could pull it off? Oh, this is Big Boo's Haunt. You see, the level's a pun. Because it's both a haunt in the sense that it's a ghost, so it, it, like, it haunts things. But also because... It's like where Big Boo hangs out, like a way a bar can be a, a person's hunt, for example, if they if they hang out at the bar, you get it? I really didn't remember how many puns there were in this. Yeah, it's edge along the wall to the door. And he's like sneak along the wall just Yeah, I'm riding- I'm riding the merry-go-round, buddy. My main problem is I'm not sure I see the benefit of- Oh! Okay, what we need to do is take one of these guys out! Oh, or not. Bowser's laugh really sounds terrible. <laughs> 
anyway? Big Boo. Oh, Big Boo's already gone. Must have something to do with... Well, we can't... We're not killing him, but... I'm left wondering how Mario knows what to do. Because we see the level titles, but the level titles must exist in some sense in-universe as well, because uh, the Big Bob Bomb made a reference to them. So... What, does Mario... is he receiving telepathic transmissions from Princess Peach because she because she has magic powers or something? She does have magic powers, actually. That's why, uh, that's why Bowser kidnapped her in the original Super Mario Brothers. It was because she had the magic powers to, um... You know, to stop his to stop his nefarious schemes and and all that. Like if she, like if she like if she was around, she would be able to undo the um, dark magic that he had cast over her country. Which of course he didn't want because he won't. You know, that, that magic was like the crux of his occupation of the country. So this is like. You know, a haunted merry-go-round underground in a shed, in a cage, in the princess's courtyard that was being carried around by a ghost. That was Big Boo again, huh? Well, you know, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Or more accurately, the bigger the target they are. Why is it that when normally when they go transparent, we can see, like, a coin inside them, but we don't see the star inside Big Boo? I don't know. Hold on, did the, 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 the merry-go-round stop for a second? Did it stop Mary going around? Really? Mario, he was right there. You just had to face the right direction, you big ninny. Or I suppose Mario isn't much of a ninny, is he? Nah. He's a super, he's a superhero in a red cap, remember? I remember. Do you remember? I suppose I could send in Yoshi. I wouldn't care as much if he were getting beat up by ghosts. How does that even work, though? Like, what are the what are the boos doing that hurts Mario? They're not biting him. They're not swatting at him. Are their bodies just innately dangerous for for living flesh to touch? That'd make it very difficult for them. I mean, and that can't be true because in Paper Mario and a lot, you know, Mario travels around with with Lady. What was her name? Lady Bo. I think that was her name. Hey. Hey. You wanna... Wanna, wanna, wanna... Yeah, you know, Mario is a bit of a martial artist in this one, isn't he? What happened to Mario as a, you know, Mario kickboxing? Why wasn't there ever Super Mario kickboxing? Now, that would have been a game that legends would be written about. They even did Super Mario... Dance Dance Revolution Mario mix, so why not why not Street Mario Fighter? Probably because Mario would win, but That was we're doing we're going way faster this time. And we already won! Like I said, way faster this time. Sort of is a surreal scene though, battling ghosts like this. Flames shooting out from portraits. Everything else. The important thing is we got the star. This must be what they were talking about when they wanted to be the superstar. Yeah, actually, that's where the power stars have appeared again. They appeared in some of the... Oh! Hey, hey. It's all in vain. Now, JK. No, no, JK. JK! JK! J... K! Nobody messes with Mario like that and gets away with it. I'm back into Big Boo's haunt! Oh yeah, they have a ghost library. Maybe someone should have mentioned that. Jog in place! Go! Full speed ahead. All right, um, which room is the library? I guess it's this room with all the shelves, but it actually is marked as being in here for some reason. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. There's the piano I know and love. I'm sort of a surprise at just how many things seem to like, I don't know, scare kids in this game. People, like a lot of kids reportedly are like horrified of that piano. And you go on, on the YouTube comments, which I know are the most intelligent source for like, you know, discussions of any of things, but you see stuff like, oh, why Nintendo? Why did you put that there? But don't you get it, you fools? A little bit of spooky stuff is, is a fine ingredient for a grand adventure. I find the difficulty of this game far more demoralizing than slightly spooky things. Wait, what the? What are you doing here? Yeah. 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 Well, forget are green caps, we're just gonna get the red coins. Is there any other ones in here, though? No. We'll find them ourselves. How are we gonna get that one up there, though, huh? I don't know, we're gonna need a power flower. Actually, there might have been a power flower, hold on. I have to say, this is a pretty sparsely furnished building. I mean, imagine, you know, you go into the foyer and this is what you see, huh? Yeah, it's not does it's it's not too it's not too aesthetically appealing. There isn't even a, a single painting on the wall. Yeah, there is totally one over there. We just need to get to it. Okay, I can do that. Oh, well, at least there's a red coin in here. Oh, hey hey. You see, that's the thing. If you act fast enough, or I'm sorry, if you act quickly enough, you can always um. Uh, uh, get your health back from the booze because if you hit them once they're going to like if they hit you once I mean not if you hit them once if you hit them once they uh they if, if you if they hit you once why am I like not able to speak if they hit you once then you're temporarily What the heck? Why is that there? Is it just for the coin? I guess so. Uh, then you're temporarily incapacitated. But while you are, the boo doesn't care if you're staring straight at it because it's reveling in its victory over you. And as a consequence of this, you're able to just hit them then. And they'll drop the coin and you'll always recover your health. Yep, that's, that's, I said that is super efficiently. So if the boos are just able to shrink Mario down like this, I mean, that's pretty serious. Like, couldn't they always just beat Mario by shrinking him down? Not always, but pretty often, I would think. I know that in Mario Party DS, the whole story is kicked off because they did, in fact, just shrink Mario down. Where's that other red coin? Is it along the edge here somewhere? That would make sense. Kind of. I mean, none of this makes sense. Why Why are they? Why are there red coins around at all? Like, why, why does using the red coins enable Mario to... Like, why does that call upon, you know, call a star into existence? That doesn't make sense to me either. Or is it... No! Okay, so there was a one up up there, but no red coins. Well, let's just continue scouring the edge then. Actually, here's an idea I just had. So we'll um, pick this up. Yeah, there's something up there. How we get up to the. We want to go up to the roof. How we get up to the roof? To the rough. Oh, never, never mind me, killer piano. That killer piano is a nice guy once you get to know him. Anyway.
I don't really consider this invisible, but yeah, there you go. There's the power of invisible Luigi for you. Now go back in through the paint. There you go. If he hadn't gone back through the painting, it would have been a pain. Ting. Oh! Oh, that was a good... That, I'm sorry, that was really not a good joke. Yeah, I don't think we looked in here. Is there a red coin in here? I'm guessing the answer is yes! Not just a blue coin. Why isn't there a blue coin challenge, huh? I don't know. I don't know why, but there's not. In any case, where the heck is the missing red coin? We've gotten all of them but one at this point. I mean, I'm gonna get all of them, but where is the last one at? Could it be in the spooky library? I guess it could be. Oh yeah, it could be. This is not a room I went into. The heck? Oh, I get it. He's on top of the shelf. Just keep running, Mario. Oh. That hurt. So, is this of any connection to, uh... That puzzle earlier, where we had to open the chests, and it was basically random? I mean, it's not random, but it was trial and error. Gosh, I already got all these red coins, though. Really? I got to... Okay. I mean, there's a star right above you. You can't say no to that. I suppose that the idea is that you'll go back and get the red coins after you've already, like, mastered the level. Once the, w once the level is already totally... Once you have completely... Once you know where everything is in the level... That... Oh, or not. I figured the red coin challenges are usually the last one. I guess the real last one's usually the 100 coin challenge, isn't it? Uh, well, let's just go do all of that again. Hey, hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Bob Bomb buddy will give us some tips about uh, the coins this time, right? No. No, he didn't. Well, fine, whatever. See what I care. We know where most of those red coins are. Specifically, um. 70 of them. We know where three-eighths of them are at. You know, that 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 whole, you know, giant piano trying to kill me thing, I don't even care anymore. It's like, yeah, yeah, I've been there, done that. Oh, and there's the Luigi Boo is in this room. We don't want that, though, because we need to be Mario in order to get that uh, coin in the in this room. Or we don't need to be, but it, cer it certainly is helpful for us to be. Which way? This way, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the trap door room. Those tricky boos, listen to them giggling down there. It are... something. I suppose they suspected Mario. They're remembering how Mario, you know, fell down there before. I'm surprised they don't just knock Mario out so that they can draw, you know, some silly faces on his head or something like that. There's nothing in the room beneath us, I think. So that's why I'd stop by, just say hi. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Yeah, but it's so amazing to me, like, even the booze look so much better than they did on the in the N64 version. Oh, here's a room we haven't been to before. I think we found the uh, final coin, then. Hey, you, uh... You looking yet? Oh, thanks, Mr. I. Mr. I! I suppose Mr. I is a pun off mystery? Doesn't really make sense, though. Oh, wow, what do you know? That's a coin. I'm sure this isn't a trap. Oh! Yep, just a normal, everyday mausoleum. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here, folks. So the final one is in that room that is like a pit. Or, that's not like a pit, that is absolutely a pit that leads down to the, uh, 
into the shed's basement. What the? Well, I mean, I know where we need to go. There's helpfully a beam of... Well, actually, this is not moonlight, it's sunlight. Shining down on it. But it is sunlight, isn't it? Like, how does it look so dark in this cage? I guess it's because they also have a miniature dark forest in the cage. You know, to remind them of home. Many boos uh, come from those dark forests, after all. We see that in Paper Mario. Which this game wanted to say is in the same canon as normal Mario by including the Goom Boss. But which... The uh, more recent Mario and Luigi Paper Jam... Just because Nintendo really wants to completely brush off that series, so they sure they were sure to make the point in that game that nah, it's like it just totally takes place in a separate continuity. Don't even think about it. As if they want me to have no interest in their series at all. Not that I'm bitter or anything. I would give you that idea. Let's just go for a hundred coin challenge. I can get a hundred coins here. Big Bob Bomb's revenge, really? I mean, okay. Yeah, it looks like Big Bob Bomb is back. Hey, 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 quit it, quit it. Yeah, you know what? Forget Big Bob Bomb. I'm just gonna go for the 100 coin challenge. In this particular playthrough I'll be doing here, and that I am doing here, that I'm recording right now. I'm not going to get all those stars that I got when I played this the first time years and years ago. But what I am going to do is, I think, at least get all the stars in this particular stage. So why did the enemies always drop coins? Do they all carry one coin with them? And if so, why? Is it like a health thing? Is it like a health ration? Is it like a med kit? Do the enemies benefit from having coins like Mario does? Why do coins protect Mario? Is it magic? Why do rings protect Sonic the Hedgehog? That never makes made any sense either. Oh, if these bomb bob bo bombs were generating, I just mine. Oh no, they only dropped the coins once. There's a coin. These count for more than one coin. I forget. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait a minute to find out here, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay, coin. I actually forgot to look to see if that counted for... There's a Koopa right there. You don't see many Koopas in the 3D Mario games. That certainly counts for multiple coins. Right now, though, this is not what I want, because I want to get off of this thing! Okay, Mario, get the coins as fast as possible. Oh, crap. Did I miss my chance? I think I missed my chance on some of those. I'm fine taking out the Goombas. It's just I want to get the coins, too, while I'm at it. Also, who put up these arrow signs? Did the Black Ball Bombs put those there? Why did the Koopa Troopas put those there? They want to guide Yoshi, or in this case, Mario. Or, yeah, what would be Yoshi? Do they want to guide Yoshi forward? I mean, I guess so. Not sure why. I mean, it would seem like they would want to do the opposite of that. Yeah, is that coin gone forever now? Yeah, it is. I know I could just get the bop, get the uh, chain chomp star right now, but I choose not to because I want. I'm I'm interested in. Uh... Oh, they put this barrier here. Very crafty, big bob bomb. But. I'm not going to do that because I want to get all the stars, you know? I mean, we're coming this far, like, what, a third of the way to getting all those stars we need to get? There's one down here... Getting all those stars, I and mean, getting all those... Co Darn. Getting all those coins we need to get? Yes, we are. We are now one-third to that point. And we're now about to be over one-third because we're going to have all these three coins. Yep, yeah, we got all three of those coins. Hooray. Yay for baby, as they might say in uh, Rat Boy Genius. Rat Boy Genius is an interesting YouTube channel. What I like about it is that even though it seems so, like, crude and stupid, it also seems to have a lot of heart behind it and to actually be really sort of sweet and charming when you, you know, when you get down to it. 
Its simplicity reminds me of the sort of things I might... What the? Oh, baby. I forgot about this. I forgot that this was in this game. We can't knock down trees, unfortunately. Well... It, nothing much came of it that time. But I assure you that later on, I'll do I'll do that again, and more will come of it. Hey! Oh, crap, a bunch of them went down- oh no, a, I thought a bunch of them went down the slope. A few of them did, I think? Yeah, we lost some coins there, but that's fine. We're still over halfway to the 100 coin goal. I remember I really liked, for some reason, the whole 100 coin you get a star thing. I do think they did that in Super Mario Sunshine, but I, I'm pretty sure they don't do that in Galaxy. Oh, well. They'll probably do it in Super Mario Odyssey, though. Now, I wonder if coins will come out of this. Why, yes, they will. Super Mario 64 is kind of... Like, unlike all those other 3D Mario platformers, it doesn't really have a theme. It's not themed around space. It's not themed around, oh, manipulating gravity, or now we're in a tropical setting, and there's, like, an adventure story or anything like that. It's just pretty straight and simple, you know. I mean, I guess you could vaguely say... Like, it's not really themed around paintings. Even if we're spending the whole game hopping in paintings, there's no... It's not about paint. It's not even... The worlds we're in aren't even drawn to look as if we're in paint worlds. Now, if this were, say, Zelda, I uh, yes, they would be. Here, though? No, not at all. Um... I just need to soar up there to the, uh, floating island. I don't think we're gonna make it, unfortunately. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. No, 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 no! What a horrifically unspectacular end to this, huh? If this were another level, Mario would have fallen into a pit and died. That would have been worse. This is, I'm not a big fan of the wing cap. Mostly because it never works. At the best of times, I never figured out how to control this thing well enough to make it work. At least that's my memory of uh, playing this. I do think I got the red stars, the, the red coin star in the uh, red switch stage. But I don't think I did, uh, I don't think I got much more than that. Oh yeah, if we'd been giant, we could have smashed through those these iron spheres that roll around. They look rather like chain chomps, don't they? Oh, hey. Hey. King Bomb Bomb, the big Bomb Bomb throw you down here? Probably. What the? Why'd I say what the? There's nothing out of the ordinary there. Goombas attack Mario all the time. Now here's what we're looking for. Hey, hey, hey. Boulders. You want something? We got a couple of coins. Get the coins, Mario. Uh, well, um, we still might be able to get up to, what is it, 10 things? Oh, no, we didn't. You do get a one-up if you smash enough things. I think it's, is it, I don't know if it's five or 10, though, off the top of my head. Well, we'll climb the mountain a third time. Climbing mountains seems to be a recurring pattern in this particular Mario game. You might notice that, you know, there's that, that snowman mountain. Later on, Mario, or whoever you play as, climbs a giant snowman. These and many other strange things occur. And, of course, it begins. We're climbing a mountain. I suppose this sense of verticality is needed because it's like a, you know, it's a 3D platformer. Not just any 3D platformer, either. One of the first of the 3D platformers. I mean, I think something like Crash Bandicoot predates this, but obviously this is way more 3D than Crash Bandicoot was. I know there's a red coin down there. 
Uh, the problem is that because I've been getting all the coins, there isn't there aren't like many health items around. Well, that's fine. We're gonna we're, we've gotten 81. We just need 20. Or we need 20 more. I mean, I know it's rounding by one. We need 19 more, but I'm gonna go with we need 20 more. Terranomore, the impotent magic dwarf evil wizard from Ruslan and Ludmila by Alexander Pushkin. I've heard Pushkin's rather famous. I don't know. How famous could he be? I mean, he's not me, the most famous person ever. Hugh, was that too much? Was that too, did I go too far, that joke? Probably not. Okay. So now I just need to shoot out to that... To that, like, uh, island out there. We need to we need to sh aim high, if I remember, with Yoshi, right? Yeah, I remember, right? Okay. I'm gonna go up here. We're get... We're, no, hold on. I don't want to get the coin, the last coins in midair, because if I do, then the then the star is going to be in midair, and I have to climb back up here again. Well, whatever. All right. The coins, Mario. Okay, Mario. Get the coins again, Mario. Good job, Mario. Good job. We're doing pretty good, Mario. We're pretty near all the coins we need to have. Okay, now fly back to the island and get the red coin. No, Mario. Back to the island, Mario. Mario, no, Mar, Mar. Here we go. Okay, Mario. Now we just need to climb up this tree, and we're gonna have it. Last. There we go. Probably gonna get it while we're in midair still. So we did. I love that recurring line, you got more power from the castle. I forgot, the level doesn't actually end once you get that star. That means we can still fly up to the top of the mountain and fight the fight big the big Bob bomb. He'll have his vengeance, that's for sure. He'll be so vengeful, he'll be like, gosh, Mario, I hate you. And I'll be like, what are you talking about? It wasn't even Mario who, who got you last time, it was Yoshi. I mean, didn't, aren't you the one who turned Mario over to the Goom Boss? Bowser's minions have got to learn to stop telling, you know, explaining their weaknesses ahead of time. Now that I think about it, he's kind of like that big purple bomb that Mario threw off the uh, construction scaffolding earlier, isn't he? We got behind him. Why didn't he Mario grab him or something? Uh-oh. We didn't get thrown off the mountain. It's like a sumo wrestling match. You know, who can throw who off the mountain? can throw who out of the ring. It's like that. Right? It's exactly like that. We got behind him. We got behind... You see that? We've gotten behind him several times now. Why won't Mario just grab him? Is it because Mario is intimidated by his enormous mustache? Don't get me wrong, the big Bob Bomb has a pretty great mustache. But not good enough to stop Mario. Uh oh! He almost got us off the mountain that time. We gotta get him off the mountain. How is Mario able to lift all these huge guys? They're just like a lot more lightweight than they look. Come on! We were behind him! You saw how he was like retreating back to the center, didn't you? It's because he knows he's losing. Oh, I see. He scrambled back to the center because Mario was knocked off the mountain. I see. He's Mario. Well, King... Kingy! See? He's not such a bad guy. He's in this for the sport. And he... 
You see, he exploded again. Maybe the Bob Bombs won't actually die when they explode, like they reassemble the shards. I suppose that must be what's happening here, because what else could be possible? Anyway, two stars, one go. That's pretty, pretty good. I see stars in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, let's get, let's get all, let's get more stars from here. It's where we began. We might as well clear it out. Mario wings to the sky. We've already been flying around. What's going on? Oh, we have to get all those stars from the center of the... Okay. I don't feel like doing that, though. I'll just let the Chain Chomp... I'll just do the Chain Chomp one already. I always thought this was a very easy one. Come on! No! C no! Criminy! It's the hard part is getting Mario up, maneuvering him above it because of the darn camera angle. Okay. Do coins restore Mario's health in the other 3D platformers? I don't honestly remember. That's kind of odd. I mean, I know that Wario is all about getting money, but you, but it's Mario who literally can get health back by getting more money. Like Mario absorbs money. He's made of money. I get it. I get it now. It's because he made Nintendo so much money. It's because Mario himself, like, achieved... He directly gets health benefits from having money. That's why he, no, That's why he's working for Nintendo so for so long. That chain chomp didn't want to hurt anyone. It just wanted to be free. It was lashing out at Mario because of the horrible treatment it had received at Bowser's hands. Yeah, I'll get that other star there later because it expects me to know how to control the, you know, people flying and jumping around and all that kind of crap. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. Whatever. I can't fly. I don't know how to fly. Do I look like a bird to you? Mario keeps falling off these stairs because it's hard to make pinpoint turns with him. Probably because I'm not using a controller. See, like, he sneaks along the wall there. All these things Mario could, is doing, I could make look so much more elegant, if only... I knew what I was doing, I guess. <laughs> so, does that mean we have to wait for the puzzle to assemble? Or get the go the uh, red coins? Probably a little bit of both. I believe there is a puzzle, like, a star you can get if you just wait around and wait for that puzzle to, um, you know, to finish go up coming together like it looks like it's almost finished now actually oh I get it it was finished but oh okay the the goal is to not end up on one of the squares next to um where this there's a star a, you know oh like oh oh boy this is the highest stake sliding block puzzle I've ever seen in all my days Last time I dealt with one of these, I guess, was in the, what, the Neverhood? Now I just need to get over to the corner. How hard could that be? That, not hard at all, that was easy! <laughs> and that's the 30th star, baby! Talking. Who's like, oh, I heard about this about um about Bowser. But anyway, yeah, we gotta we gotta save Luigi, don't we? Yeah. But how are we gonna do that? I mean, I feel like we should do that before we um. I hold on. What the heck? What's up here? I bet you I can get up there. Yeah, I did. Now, here's a secret, if ever I've seen one. Well, I guess we're going for a bit of a swim, huh? Well, Mario, surface now, because you're going to be soaked. 
Really, he is so... He, think about it, he's completely soaked down to his underclothes now. He doesn't care, he just keeps going anyway. Hold on. Hold. I can't I can't turn the camera around. I suppose because there's no room for the Lakidu to go to. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. That's why you can't turn the camera sometimes, is because there isn't room for the Lakidu. Well, is there... Yeah, what's going on here, sign? Give me a sign. Oh, this is what they were talking about when they said that, uh... Someone needs to pound the pillars, huh? When they said a second ago, did you pound the two pillars? They're talking about this. And thus the moat was drained. Oh, hey, guy. Hey. He ran right into our hands. I never liked rabbits particularly much. I, I like how one of your options is save and play minigames. Let me tell you something, Mario. Right now is no time for minigames. Okay, Mario? Right now... You need to save lives. But there's an another one? Do we get a star if we catch them all, you think? That'd be pretty neat. Maybe. Could be. All right, now. Oh, my. Me! Now we're just getting. We're on a key roll. We're getting. We're getting all these keys. If you key what I mean. Oh, he pounded those two pillars. Isn't there a secret level behind the waterfall? I think there is. What? what, the, what hold on, what's, what am I looking at? Okay, I see now. I wasn't even sure what I was looking at there for a moment. Oh yeah, there is a secret down here. A secret hole. I wholly endorse this. What the heck? There's nothing in the hole. Then why is it here? Well, that was weird. I could have. I know there's a secret around here somewhere. Maybe it's under this big black box over here. Not sure why Mario kept diving back into the water after he gotten out, though. He does some odd stuff sometimes. That's just the sort of man he is. He wouldn't have been a hero if he was t perfectly normal guy, after all, now would he? Nah, probably not. Generally, the people who become really famous and notable are kind of oddballs. I guess you have to be odd to even have the determination to become famous and notable. Most people accept that their lives are valueless and they'll just disappear into obscurity. So close! This is a dangerous one, Mario. But I like that you keep up that let's a go spirit any- You know what, let's not go through the whole obstacle course. Let's just go up here. Seems like a way better idea. Yeah, and there was a red coin above that swamp, isn't there? Yeah, I thought- I, th I think I saw when I was climbing- Oh, oh, hey. Hey, you little cutie. Bye. Never understood why the piranha plants are asleep in this game. Hey, that's never been a thing in any other Mario game, ever. I suppose Mario made the... Or hold on, we need to go down here. Sorry, Mario. I suppose Mario made the transition to uh, 3D a lot more gracefully than Sonic the Hedgehog did. It's kind of interesting to note that both of their first th full 3D installments, though, aimed to... ...to set the record straight on certain characters' names. Because, of course, the character Eggman was always called Robotnik in the U.S. But then in Sonic, uh, Sonic Adventure... ...the U.S. release has him named Eggman. And, of course, she's always was called Toadstool before this for the U.S. releases. 
But after this, she's always called Princess Peach, and in this game it's like suggested that her name is Princess Peach Toadstool. Hold on, what does this sign say? Well, I mean, I already knew that's what these things did, but whatever. I yeah, got him. Any particular purpose to that? Guess just to give us a whole bunch of coins very fast. Well, let's go die. Let's go kill ourselves. That's what you do when, you, when you're shooting yourself into the wild blue yonder. Oh boy. Please work, please work, please work. Worked. It looks like there's a star somewhere near the bottom here, somewhere around where we are now. That Goomba marched right into our feet. I mean, I know that there was this thing... I know in Bowser's Inside Story, the Goomba's, like, you know, motto is, we march proudly unto enemy feet. This is, this is ridiculous. Oh, I see. The star is beneath where we are now. Oh. I think? I think it is. Well, this isn't what I thought this mission was at all. Wow! People always make fun of Wario for saying wow, but clearly Mario says it pretty often himself. So now we have a better idea of what our target is. The question is, can we make it? No! And that's exactly what I thought would happen today, Dale. Anyway, what am I doing? We're not gonna find... Hold on. It's Toad. Toad. To Toady Toad Toad. Toad Toad. How you toading? I'll do it later. You saw I tried to do it earlier. It just didn't work, okay? We gotta save Luigi. He's our man. He's Mario's brother, you know. I mean, that's why he's our man, because... Gosh darn it. I don't think I was ever good at fighting the boos. I mean, here. Big boos balcony. I guess this is one where we have to get up to the balcony. To do that, we're just going to need some kind of, like, flower thing. Am I right? I'm right. Of course I am. I'm a genius. You, no. Here we... N no. H here we go. Okay, Mari, get up there, Mar... Mar ah. I don't think we could get up there with this. I don't think it goes up quite high enough. But if I know the booze, there's some trick to it. In fact, I rem know that there's a trick to it. I remember that there is. Um, but how exactly do we get up there? It's from the second story, obviously. And it looks like what we need to do... Maybe that door... Maybe that painting above the, above the front door is actually a door? And we just need to be Invisible Luigi to get it. Yeah, I'll go with that. That makes sense, right? Sure it does. I mean, I, sh I mean, it does. Absolutely, actually. It totally makes sense. Get the stars, get the star- or get, Not the stars. Why do I keep calling them stars? They're coins. Give them a thing, but they have stars on them, though, don't they? Really, there must be some connection between the coins and the stars, since these stars, you know, give... They give Mario... Since these coins give Mario stars. I also realized that I was mistaken earlier. When I was, was wondering how someone who didn't work for Bowser could have a star. It's because Bowser didn't actually find all of the stars. He doesn't know where all of them are. Hold on, I forgot the whole reason I went outside. Just to get Luigi's cap. Like the hidden star in the... The hidden star in the slide, for example. 
Bowser did not know that was there. That's why Mario and was able to uh, to get it. So hold on. I once again I ran right past the back door into the secret room. Kind of odd that the booze would bother having light on at all, though, isn't it? Like why did why, why do they do that? Or whatever. God. What was that noise? No. In any case, we got what we came here for now. Now we're the number one guy, Luigi. It's Luigi time! He sounds kind of like that. I'm no Charles Martinet, though. I'm just a mackerel foe. I know I've said that before. I think I get now why they have those spidery enemies. Because spiders are spooky, guys! Like Zoink Scoob! I don't know if we can make it! It's like that. It's exactly it's exactly like that. Oh no, Scoob! What are we gonna do? Let's see, is there something around here we can do with this? Can we say... No, we could not jump through that portrait. So what's the point? What? Well, how... Maybe we actually do need to be Mario. Well, I hate to do this to you, Mario, but you're gonna need to go get, get hurt by something. Yup, there you go. Lose your cap, Mar- there we go. Maybe Mario can somehow fly up to the balcony. Something else I remember in Super Mario 64 is that Mario's red cap can be stolen from him. And I don't remember, like, what this does. Does it do anything? I mean, it has to do something or they wouldn't have put it in. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the kind of secret thing I was looking for. Yeah, I think we found our- I think we found the- the, the answer. Oh, actually, I mean, we didn't. This is not what I was thinking I was looking for at all. I didn't expect to find Luigi's picture in the stage. But we better go save him. It was well hidden, wasn't it? So we need to follow the sound of his laughter. Which side is he loudest? I think it's probably here. No, now is the wrong way. No, he's definitely not too loud there. I think this is the perfect voice for this character, actually. One of the quirks of this game, and I don't really know how to explain it, is that wasn't it? Is that, um, is that King Boo is misidentified in the translation as Big Boo. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to guess. I don't think my ears are good enough, guys. So it's not that one. So, and it's not, so is it this one? Yeah, it is, it's the one on the right. He doesn't sound as loud as he could be there. But I don't think we can get back, so. I'll choose my poison. Well, we could probably jump that, honestly. Oh, wait, that was the way we needed to go. Uh-oh. Charming. Oh, that's gotta be it. 
And you might notice this room is full of red coins. I mean, this is pretty deep. We're go- Huh. <sighs> you know, we're going into like a level inside a level. It's pretty bizarre and it really does, you know, sort of drive home that sense of, you know, you're exploring something here. This can't be the right door. No! We don't want to get thrown out of here. That wasn't it either? I really am surprised about that. Really though, to me, I, I get the idea is that his voice, you know, it's a Lost Woods kind of deal. His voice will be louder, depending on, um... No! No! Oh, there really is no getting out of here, is there? King Boo is a fan of keeping people trapped forever. But since this is in fact King Boo that we're hearing right now, this sort of is like, it retcons this. Because now Luigi did not meet King Boo in Luigi's Mansion. He met King Boo in Super Mario 64. And what that kind of makes you wonder, I mean this entire game is actually retconning Super Mario 64. So despite its huge role in video game history, Super Mario 64 is not actually, like, Mario canon. No! No! In any case, I think it's the door opposite when we come into that room. I'm surprised that, that like, it doesn't- we don't lose a life when we fall into that pit. What I would expect would happen is that, like, um, we would just be thrown out of the Luigi painting. Okay, so no. It must be the door to the right, then. That's my guess. So it's right, left, right. Right? Uh-oh, I'm getting confused myself. Okay, so that was that was the right pick. Oh yeah, they're moving platforms, as I assumed they would be. So if I get all these red coins, am I gonna get kicked out of here? Because I don't want to be kicked out of here until we found until we found Mario's brother. And that's what we're here for. Okay, is this the loudest door? Face the booze. Just face him down. If you, if. Oh, Mario took him all out in one punch. I heard a one punch man before, but I think Mario had him beat to it. How you doing, Bobby? Okay, so it's on the other side of that door. What door was, what was the red coin on the other side of? Hold on. Yeah, it's on the other side of the door that... Of the northern door. Okay, so that must be the door we must uh, go through to advance. I'm not even gonna... Well, actually, hold on, hold on, what am I saying? It makes no sense for a bob Omb buddy to have gotten in here. So that must mean that the bob Omb buddy is another one of King Boo's tricks. So really, it's not the northern door. Not really, I'm, I'm gonna trust that it's the northern door. Yeah, I was right. Oh no, we have to come in here with Wario then, don't we? Yeah, we do. Well, hold on, that couldn't be, because one of those coins we could only get to... We could only get to it by floating up there as Balloon Mario. I suppose when Wario's here, he'll have to come in here with Mario's... Ca wow. Unless it's somewhere up above. Mario, get on the platform! Thank you, Mario. Gosh. It, oh. I see now. Is that... It's just Mario. 
But you can see the Likidu brother behind him. So does that mean that- I always thought that the boos were like somehow some sort of like a- I always assumed the boos were like a uh, not really ghost. They were like some sort of species in the same way that toads are or koopas. Here though, they seem to indicate that actually- wait, he's back on our side of the mirror? Yeah, to see that he goes in and out of a mirror world. It's pretty spooky stuff. Oh, come on now. Well, why am I saying come on now? I was, he, of course he hit me. I mean, it's basically just a fight with, with Big Boo, admittedly. It's the same mechanics, but... So yeah, this is uh, how the Mario Brothers met, met King Boo. And we know how King Boo got his revenge on Mario, don't we? But that's a story for another game. It's also kind of interesting that, uh... King Boo? In, in Luigi's Mansion... In Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, he looks... scary. Much scarier than he looks in any of his other appearances. I mean, you know, he doesn't really look scary, but... I mean, like... You know, he he has dark blue beneath his eyes, and he's made... They try to make him a little spookier looking than he looks normally. And it does kind of raise a question of why doesn't he look like that in all of his appearances? I suppose because those are the sur uh, survival horror Mario games. Ah, uh, we'll get the key later. I mean, we will. See, like, Mario should just... Mario should just go straight through that door... But instead, he's you know crouches, crouches along the side of it. He inches along the wall. It's because the controls are not all that easy to control, I guess. Apparently, they've gotten the job done though. Because I'm enjoying this. I can do Waluigi's voice, not Luigi. Anyway, so now the real hero has entered the show. I don't know who Mario is, what the big deal that guy is, but Luigi is our real star of the show. Oh yeah, you can do that little thing where he shuffles his feet around in the air. Like in Super Mario Brothers 2. Yep, that's what that is. Just like Super Mario Brothers 2. It's kind of interesting, the Game Boy Advance's uh, launch- wait. We'd have to go through the star door. The Game Boy Advance's launch titles were uh, remakes of Mario games, and the DS's launch title was a big, bad remake of... Oh. Well, screw you too. Really, I mean, I, I don't care about Bowser's opinion, but I guess... Man, even... I mean, it's of course Bowser's gonna be mean to Luigi, because he's Bowser. I seem to remember there was some Mario RPG where he sees Luigi and doesn't remember who he is. He's like, B you know, Mario and whoever this other guy is. Okay, fine. Well, I'm sorry, Luigi. You really aren't the hero of this narrative. It was Mario all along. Mario, you're awfully giddy about your brothers being kicked out of, not even giving a chance to shine as the hero of his story. So I misremembered. I believe there are only two Bowser boss battles in the, uh, in the game. There's that first one and then the full, full throttle thing later on. Wait, actually, hold on. Doesn't this mean that, that Bowser has some control over whether a star door is unlocked? I thought that it was just that he had to have the number of stars that he sealed them off with his magic. 
If he can keep any star door from being open when he doesn't, then how the heck are they opening any of them? Does he want them to win? In any case, Bowser Sub. This is one of my favorite tracks from the game. God, are these shells ever useful? Oh, Tektites. And there are a lot of them. Oh, look, there's a uh, shark swimming around down there. I believe the name of that shark is Sushi. Or maybe... I actually, I think he is just called Sushi. It's kind of weird. In case there's a lot of majestic sea life down here. It's a beautiful place, really. It's a shame Bowser had to build his... His substation here, huh? The Koopa Troop really is a military force, a military power. Or why am I calling them the Koopa Troop? I believe it's because uh, they were called that in one Mario piece of media ever. It's kind of odd, honestly, that they never got a proper name. There's never, there's not some name which is the universally agreed upon standard. It's just what the Super Mario Wiki calls them the Koopa Troop, as they should. Oh, look at those rings floating up. Hmm, I wonder who this place belongs to. For a moment there, I thought those metal girders beneath us were, um, one of those Japanese, one of those gates that stand outside, uh, Japanese shrines. Or not even gates, like archways. And here you can notice more of the dynamic music. And of course, as soon as I say that, it's cut off. Of course. And so, Mario boarded Bowser's submarine. But we didn't get that key we needed to open the door to the upper stories. Well, um, back it. Oh, I guess we'll get it in here. Oh, so Bowser in the Lava World was not the final Bowser fight then, huh? Guess I misremembered. All right, yeah, oh. Oh! Oh, no! We can still save ourselves. We, we can still- we can't. 